guys, it's Sam, and I am going to be doing an empties video. Here is my empties bin, which I absolutely love. I got it from Target, and it's the brand Circle. I got mine a while ago, so I'm not sure if they still have it. And if you can believe it, I haven't been to Target in a long time, and a long time for me is more than a week, and it's been, I think, I want to say two to three weeks. So, kind of feeling like Target withdraw, but I'm okay. Uh, so, the first thing in here is light bulbs, and these I use, the round ones, for, and they're called they're G25s so I use these for my vanity girl Hollywood mirror which I absolutely love and I've had that for so long the I've had about two I've had two light bulbs go out and I replaced the third one okay long story that you don't need to know about but I they, I use some similar bulbs in the bathroom so I took one of mine out one went out in the bathroom so I replaced it with the original vanity girl light bulb and I want to replace actually all the light bulbs that I have in my mirror with this because these are brighter and I feel like they're just better. And I think the brand that sells this is Fate Electric, but I get mine from Amazon, so I will put the link below. I love these. These are super bright, they're dimmable, and they're just excellent. I really, really like these, and I think you guys should check them out if you have the Vanity Girl Hollywood mirror or if you have that classic old Hollywood glam glamour uh, mirrors. Next are several hair dyes. This is the Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color, which I really like this hair dye. It's ammonia free and it's not doesn't feel like it's so harmful to your hair. This is in the number 10. Uh, it's called Black. And I use this to color my hair when I used a Garnier Nutrice uh, red color and it only dyed my roots. So I use this and then I tried my color my hair again. Uh, recently, which you would have seen, uh, I just put the video up, it's the L'Oreal Feria Power Violets, and I had two of these, and unfortunately, again, it just colored my roots, and I know a lot of people were saying in the comments, which you're probably absolutely right, I don't, this, this is probably good for virgin, never colored black hair, but since I colored my hair uh, pretty frequently, it didn't really work for me, but, uh, you know, I, I went into it thinking that it would, because I know other people who have colored their hair and use this and had their results it just didn't mix with me uh, then so because of that I had uh, I had this Clairol natural instincts crema keratina ammonia free and character protection this is a new product for me and I really liked it I feel like it turned my hair even blacker than other black hair dyes that I've had and I really like this one this is also ammonia free so wasn't you know, if you didn't have a window open and you use this in your room, you'll be fine. You're not going to pass out. I really did like this, and I would recommend this as well. It's very gentle, and I mean, it. you don't see any red roots in my hair, so that's good. Uh, then I have, this is the Kirkland Multi-Purpose Solution for Contact Lenses, and I get though it's like eight bucks for three of these huge bottles. You cannot beat the deal. You cannot beat that deal, and I just got a replacement for these. But I'm trying out, um, I'm trying out the Clear Care Plus, which I have, I have been loving, and I, I would still recommend this just because it's such a good deal. I, I mean, I do like it, and I wouldn't recommend it otherwise. If you're trying to save money, I think this is the best way to go. But the Clear Care Plus that I'm using is very good as well. That's more expensive though. Okay, next is. I finished the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap. This is the one in Baby Mild, and uh, a very long time ago, I broke the top off, so I could never, um, I always had to be careful when I use this. I don't know how I broke it. I was hulking out at the time, I guess. Anyway, this is really great. I used this entire thing, entire thing for washing my brushes, and I... I had I have done a video on using this to clean my brushes. I think it does the best job, and I would definitely recommend this. If you don't want to get something this big, there's an eight ounce. This is a thirty-two. There's an eight ounce one. There's a bar soap, which I actually have. I'm almost done with one of the bar soaps, and I got another one because I like it so much to clean my brushes as well. I rub my brushes against it, but this is just great, and it lasts forever. And you could use it to wash yourself too, and just. I really like this. I would definitely get that again. Next up are several sheet masks that I finished. And there's a lot of these because I've been better about doing my special spa nights, which I do have to film. It's just really expensive. And sometimes I skip a night. And like I said, I try to do it every two to three nights, but I skip or I just don't want to film. And 
Uh, that's why I have several of these sheet masks. I finished them, and I don't like to do sheet masks all the time, which I should. I should just suck it up, but um, you get it on your face, and then you got to keep the neck down because it wants to pop up. And I've said it before, it's kind of a hassle, but again, I have to suck it up, and there should be a lot more masks in here. Uh, the first one is the Ampule Mask. Uh, this is Deer Skin Ampule Mask. And that one was for pore slimming. Then I have the Nature Moisture Green Tea. Uh, I don't know what brand this is, which I should. Uh, this, let's see, the Propolis uh, or Propolis All-in-One Nutrition and Protection. And it looks like that. I'm trying to see if it says, it just says Made in Korea in the bag. I guess the name was at the top. So I use that one. And then these four are from Mimi Boxes. And these three are from the same company, Rain Plats. Uh, I got black rice essence, soybean essence, and then green tea essence. So I finished those from a mini box, and I did like them. And then this is the Mimi Mask Intensive Moisturizing Hydrogel. And I really like this as well. It was big, and it was nice. And um, I got in a couple more Mimi Box masks, so hopefully they'll be nice as well. And then... These two, I finished two uh, Neutrogena makeup remover wipes, which I love these. I did get just another box of the Kirkland brand. I just want to switch back and forth, and um, I like both of them. Uh, this one might do just a little bit better at removing waterproof eye makeup than the Kirkland, but I like both. And this one was this, what is this, the 7? And then this one has, I believe, 25 which I don't get. I understand the week, but the 25, I don't understand. They should I have another Mimi Box item. This is the Goodall or Goodall Fun Fun Travel Kit, and you got four items in here. Two were moisturizers and two were face masks that you had to, you, you know, you put on and then you wash it off. And I really like the sizes of these. They were really good sample sizes. The moisturizers were... The Want Sleep Night Sleep Brightening, and then the Want Night Sleep Moisture, and I use each of these for three to four nights, which I thought was really nice. I wouldn't get either of these just because I like other night moisturizers better, but I thought it was, this was a really fun way to try it. And then the two face masks, one was Keeping Youth Coconut, and this was so strange, this one, because it had... I mean, it was nice, but it was also odd because I felt like I should be drinking what was on my face. There was legit pieces of coconut in there, uh, which was a nice exfoliator, but it smells so good that I was like, ooh, I want a pina colada right now. And then this was something that I would definitely get. I'm going to try to see if they have something like this on the Mimi Box website, which I, I believe they do. This is a deep clean pour glacial clay wash off pack and I love this I I just it, my face felt really refreshed and nice after this was done and I would definitely get a full size of this and in fact I'm gonna put that to the side so I remember to look it up on the me box website I finally finished I in my last I believe empties I did the conditioner and now this is a shampoo this is a pureology serious color care anti fade complex Super straight shampoo shampooing. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I had complained about the conditioner that I just saw my hair color going down the sink, and this is the same for this. This was no lather, which I know is supposed to be good for your hair, but I still saw my hair color go down the sink, so I would not get this again. Let me know if you've had the same experience or different experience, because um, I know Pureology is not cheap, so kind of just like to show that. you the fun I have these toe separators these are the foam kind so not cheap but I use these I wore them out and I decided to get something a little bit more not permanent but something that would last a little bit longer I got uh, gel toe separators which I am testing out and I will update you guys on that but I am definitely getting rid of these it's time uh, then I have a toothpaste this is the Crest Complete uh, scope whitening Dual Blast, a bunch of things on here. I Probably Crest is my favorite brand. Um, this one was I wasn't too much of a fan of, but I did use it up because you got to brush your teeth, and I'm not going to 
uh, wasted. It wasn't so bad that I couldn't finish it up. It's, it's like one of those Next items. Next is the Chic Intuition Natural Sensitive Care Blade. I did finish these up, and this is my favorite way to shave because it's a solid form on the razor, and then uh, you don't need to deal with shaving cream or gel. And for my sensitive skin, I just feel like the Intuition Blades it doesn't have to be this kind uh, because they have several Intuition Blades. I just, I like to shave with that the best and I just think that it's so easy I get mine from Costco again Costco I love Costco um, for things that you use all the time you can't beat the prices there uh, so this is you get 12 blades for $27 and if, that is just amazing because if you go to even places like Walmart which is super cheap they are very expensive and it's like you buy three and then it's like six nine twelve it, the more you buy, the more expensive it is. This is really expensive. So um, I would recommend if you like that brand to get it at Target, <laughs> to get it at Costco because it's a really good price. And then the last product is the It's a Tan Miracle Oil plus Keratin. And I like using hair oils on my hair. I never thought I would be one to want to use hair oils on my hair because it gets so oily. But I have loved using hair oils. This one wasn't particularly my favorite. The one I'm using now I feel like is so much better. It's the Chi Keratin Silk Infusion. So they're both basically the same thing. But this one I feel like is much stronger and you don't need a lot. This one I felt like I needed about 10 pumps. I'm not joking. I would be there and go like this. Uh, and so I wouldn't repurchase it was a bummer. this again, but I would like to try other It's 10 products. So let me know what your favorites are from this brand. So that is my Etsy's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.